In this video, we're going to look at the recording section for Microsoft Clarity. So on the dashboard, you'll notice that for a lot of these different metrics, um, you're going to see a link that will take you directly to the recordings. So what that's going to do is it's going to drill down and help you say, OK, well, we've got 6.61% of all of the traffic that's come through based on the time frame. So in this, we've got a filter on the last three days and we can see that 6.61% of those sessions have dead links. If I click on recordings, what we're going to do is it will have automatically filtered for me and said, OK, well, now the filter of last three days also includes dead links is yes. So we can see here that we've got the different sessions that have dead links. Now, what we're seeing here is it will show us the entry URL and the exit URL. It'll have the time that it happened and the date. And we'll also see how many pages within that session, what the duration of that session was, how many clicks actually occurred within that session. And then we've got um, the uh, platform, so PC or mobile, and then we've got the um, operating system and we can also see the country. So we're getting quite a bit of information here. Now, if I scroll down to this one, this has um, one page that was visited and there are 16 clicks and it was somebody from Sweden. So if I go ahead and click on that, what we can see is that we've got um, a let me just pause this for a second. We can essentially look at the screen that was being viewed. So in this, we're looking at something that it was about extracting survey variables. Um, and that was to do with Forms Pro, which is an older product. So someone was re reviewing this. Now, along the bottom here, we can see that we've got moments where we have these clicks that were tracked. So I'm going to go ahead and also on this one, we can see that we can skip inactivity. So where, where nothing was really happening, we can go ahead and skip that. So it'll kind of shorten this for us. So if I just go back to playing it again, you might not be able to hear, but um, every time somebody clicks, I can hear that and it's actually showing exactly where they've clicked. Um, we can see it's quite fast because again, I've kind of I'm saying skip the inactivity. Um, but what I can see is somebody's kind of looks like they're selecting things or maybe selected it by mistake with their mouse. Um, they're scrolling up and down, so they're looking for something specific. So this is the sort of thing that is hopefully going to be helpful to see, okay, well, someone's clicking on this. What are they looking for specifically? Um, and also somebody selecting something or they're scrolling back and forth. Maybe I haven't given it enough information. They're not able to find what they're looking for. Uh, so that's just one example. So let's go ahead and pause this now. Um, now, again, I started and I said, show me all those with dead clicks. If I go back to the dashboard, I now have um, some with rage clicks. So let's go ahead and look at that. And we can see here that we've got um, two different ones. One had um, a duration of over 10, almost 11 minutes. One was seven and a half minutes, 113 clicks. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. And I'm just going to move this to right before. Now, let's just go back to this. This is something that actually I have um, genuinely found value in. This specific page is all about Forms versus Forms Pro. So two Microsoft products, but Forms Pro changed to Dynamics 365 Customer Voice um, quite a few months ago. So what I did is I added a new page that was similar to this one that was all about Forms versus Customer Voice. And rather than removing the original page or doing a straight redirect, what I did was I had a pop up. And I thought somebody would read this and then they would see, oh, OK, um, so there's a new comparison table because Forms Pro is now Dynamics 365 customer voice. And they would click on that and they would go to the comparison. What I've seen is for the most part, people are ignoring it and closing it. They're not even reading it. So that for me is useful because I know it's pointless. I just need to do a redirect and not let people go to the original page. However, so now what we can see is all of these different clicks that they've tracked as being rage clicks. And I have no clue what this person was doing when they were visiting this. Um, but they are clicking on everything. The only thing that I can think is that they've they have been copying this and pasting it somewhere. 
either to use in some kind of presentation or share with information, uh, sorry, share the information with others, but you can see there that they are double clicking and selecting it. Whether it's intentional, whether that's just the way that they read things, I don't know, but it's definitely a lot of clicks and that's why it's captured this as having rage clicks on it because there's a lot of clicks in succession um, just all sort of all over the place. So it's it's interesting, but it also in this scenario it makes me think eh, it's either the user copying stuff or again that's kind of they highlight and then they read it from there. Again, remember that I'm skipping inactivity here. Um, but yeah, very interesting. All right. So the last thing, if I just go and I um, go back to the dashboard and I click on recordings, that's another way that I can get to it and I can clear those filters that I had on previously. So now it's just giving me a list of all of those sessions based on the only filter that's on there, which is the time frame filter. I can then sort based on the um, the date, which is what it's doing automatically, I believe. Uh, and I can sort based on duration, clicks, and I can sort based on the number of pages within those sessions. Um, so within here, we've got six pages that were viewed within that. We can see that somebody came in on the home page, which is right here. Um, and then they did a search and then from there, they should be taken to a page that would then show them a list of everything that they've searched on. So we can see there they've searched for something. This is what it's shown them in terms of the results. So we can we can view that information and see how they ended up going through those six different pages. What was it that happened in terms of them actually doing those searches? So let me go through here. Um, so that way you can actually kind of see the full journey that somebody has taken from the very beginning on that entry through to the exit and how did they actually get to that point and then leave your website. Um, so it's either that they searched and didn't find anything or they found what they wanted and they left. Um, so yeah, I find this fascinating, really interesting that I can sit and watch somebody but even more interesting is the fact that I can do that and find information and see, okay, well, which ones have dead links, which ones have rage clicks and so on. The other thing that's interesting is the JavaScript errors. So if I go into the recordings for the ones with JavaScript errors, um, I can see that this was seven pages that, um, that were viewed. Um, I can then go ahead and I can actually click on the timeline. And when I do that, it will open it up so I can see where we had um, clicks, we had a quick back click. So somebody clicked on something and then quickly came back to it. Um, so there's a lot of information. Now, one thing I haven't found yet is where that JavaScript error is occurring. Um, I'd probably have to sit and, and watch all the way through just to kind of see where that occurs. It doesn't seem to expose it in the timeline when we list it that way. Um, so I'd have to sit and watch and see, okay, well, where's this JavaScript error that is occurring and then really dig into it to find out exactly what's happening. All right. So hopefully that helps, gives you a bit of information in terms of how those recordings um, are found and how you can kind of dig into them and see more information. Um, again, I, it's still a little bit creepy to me because <laughs> I'm essentially watching somebody's movements on their website, uh, sorry, on my website, almost like I'm sitting um, and just peering over their shoulder. Very strange. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's just really creepy? Um, have you added it to your website? Can you see the value in this? I certainly can. Um, it's just, a, it takes a bit to kind of wrap your head around it and get over the creepy factor. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.